Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Fragrances Filson, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about some beautiful inspired by fragrances from the house of Juliana's Perfume. So if you're interested in that, then just keep on watching. So in today's video, we are talking about Juliana's Perfumes, and I'm so excited they reached out to be a sponsor of this video, and I'm so grateful for them sending over these fragrances. I've been talking about Juliana's Perfume for quite some time now. I discovered the brand over the internet, as we all do. I remember it was like one of the first houses that I saw doing inspired by niche fragrances. I know we see a lot of companies only doing designer, and so I feel like this really was covering a gap in the market because we do love niche fragrances and those are the ones that are sometimes out of reach for people so i did absolutely love that they make it more accessible to have these gorgeous and luxurious fragrances in your life so again super happy that they reached out i wanted to i had so many things on my wish list even prior to them reaching out i do have some samples from the house i do have a full-size bottle of liquid gold which is inspired by mfk's gentle fluidity gold which i absolutely love i blind bought that bottle because of the recommendation from other creators years ago um, people saying that it was identical it was spot on it was a great quality some people even preferred it more than the original which I am in that bracket I absolutely love that one and had no need to go out and buy the MFK version so yes I absolutely love the house and I am so excited that I was able to explore it a little bit more through this opportunity and so they did send me over 10 samples and from those samples I picked these five fragrances so I'm so excited to talk about these ones and what I absolutely love and I'm so excited about is that they're in these new 10 ml bottles which I thought was such a genius idea because originally they only had the 2 ml sample bottles that you know you could buy also had the full size bottles i can't remember the ml size i'll put it on the screen i think the price point i can't remember i'll try to look the price point is now it is under they were mostly under a hundred dollars but again for the quality i think it's well worth the amount that you're spending because you're getting a little bit more of a premium product but again you're still saving so much off of like the original markups that the og fragrances are at so you're saving quite some money but you're still not not missing out on the quality if that makes sense so I want to talk about the new sizes so these are 10 ml bottles and I just love how beautiful they look the labels are so beautiful I love simple packaging I think you guys have noticed like a lot of my favorite bottles are very simple not too much going on and yeah I love the label I love their logo it looks so good I love the gold and then let me show you guys also yeah, the atomizer is great quality it sprays really well Oh my gosh, that's amazing. But yeah, so they come in these great bottles and they also are in bundles. Okay, so let's talk about the bundles that you can create. So you can build your own 30 ml for $45 and that's 10 ml bottles and you can pick three and that could either be the same or different fragrances, which I recommend to always do kind of mix and match because you can experience more. And then that you have a build your own 50 ml for $55 and that, and that is five 10 ml bottles. And then lastly, they have the build your own 100 ml that is a hundred dollars and you can pick 10 10 ml fragrances say that 10 times fast <laughs> that was a lot but yeah i love that they can you can mix and match i think you can experience more because with full-size bottles are 50 ml i believe that is a great size obviously if you love the fragrance and you're using it all the time they last so long i mean i've used liquid gold so many times over sprayed and i've still barely made a halfway dent and it's so surprising because at one point i was using it constantly so the fact that i still have a lot of juice in that bottle it is it is generous so don't be afraid of using these fragrances i mean they are great quality and you don't need to overspray a lot of the scents but for the lighter ones i will say you can so you probably will go through those bottles maybe a little bit quicker but again i think just the 10 ml is just your happy medium you're able to really experience the fragrance wear it tons of times and then go ahead and either invest in the full-size bottle or just creating your own bundle of your favorite fragrance so like doing 
maybe a 30 ml bundle and picking just one of the fragrances so then you have enough juice to last you for a while and what i love about the 10 ml is that you can travel with them so i'm a person especially if a fragrance doesn't last that long or i love the fragrance and i just want to top off i bring it in my purse so i tend to decant on my own and bring my fragrance with me or i have the travel size i keep it in my purse to top off so for these only a few of them are ones that i would like actually top off throughout the day but for some of the other ones if you just spray generously then it will last long and it'll project and all of that so it's a little bit of a tester you just have to know the fragrances and it's the same thing with the og fragrances you know some of the brands their juices are just so beast mode that you don't need to spray too much and then other times you know it's a lighter fragrance lighter profile that you have to over spray so again it's just great to have that option and flexibility with the 10 ml okay so we are starting off with in the mood and this is inspired by oud satin mood by mfk while I love the original fragrance. I was never moved to buy a full bottle. I do think it was way overhyped. It wasn't a must-have in my collection. I do like it. I think this one really hits the mark and I actually don't need the full bottle of the OG anymore because this is really really very close. I did a wear test of these. As for a lot of these I, I do have decants of the OG so I was able to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Three out of the five I was able to do that. So for this one I did do that and let me talk about the notes. The notes are in the top is Turkish rose and Bulgarian rose. In the heart is violet, cedar, cypriol, and musk. And then in the base is patchouli, vanilla, amber, and oud. And I wanted to speak on the concentration, guys. This concentration is x -trait. So it's a very high concentration of perfume oil, which is probably one of the best concentrations you can get in fragrance. So I absolutely love that this house does that. Go through each fragrance and just specify that each concentration is an x -trait, but for in the mood, it is. It does a great job of lasting long on the skin. It projects it has great longevity yeah this is very very close the dna is very very close to mood satin mood if i wanted to give a percentage i would say probably like 95 percent close the reason being i don't think in the original there is that patchouli i know that there's benzoin but the amber in this is probably very similar to that they're all very comparable notes so yeah definitely very close and i love it so i'm very excited to wear this i will say it's a little bit heavy for day wear for me so i would probably save this for like an evening event or um you know in the night so that is that one okay so the next one is the village and this one is inspired by greenwich village by bond number no. nine and i've actually had that a few bond number no. nine um, fragrances on my wish list but y'all know their fragrances i think start over 400 dollars. you could probably get them for for 200 but i'm just like that is a lot of money and to be honest i've done some wear tests of some bond number no. nine fragrances and while they are beautiful they do not last long they did not project as much as I wanted to so for that I was just like yeah we need to find another option and so this was a great one all right so for the notes for the village it is top notes of lychee cassis mandarin orange the heart notes are heeny water lily and jasmine base notes of praline vanilla and broxen musk and oak moth this is very close to greenwich village but i actually prefer this one a little bit better it just has a different blend to it i guess you could say because i pick up a little bit more on like the lychee the mandarin orange and i just think it's like a really pretty blend the problem with the original greenwich village is that that one is very light and again i just can't justify paying like 400 dollars for something that dissipates off of the skin so quickly and it doesn't project as much on me and that just might be a personal thing but also Greenwich Village gets compared to Baccarat Rouge 540 which I don't get maybe it's kind of the oak moss in the base but I don't personally get that and so this one feels like a little bit more of a standalone if that makes sense and that's why I prefer it a little bit better but I did not have a decant of the original Greenwich Village to compare it so I can't say for certain like I can't really give a percentage of how close this one is but but I say if you like that I think you'd love this one even more and so that is the village okay guys so the next one is bohemian rain and this is inspired by G water from Byredo. I have sampled a few things from Byredo, like G water Mojave ghost Val de freak another a couple other ones and those have been on my wish list for quite some time but again I just couldn't justify paying the price point it's not outrageous but I just feel like because I didn't have a great wear test with the fragrances I did feel like they 
were kind of close to the skin and didn't project as much as I would have liked. So again, that's why I really couldn't justify paying that money. But this is amazing, guys. Like this one is probably one of, like I love all of these, but this one is up there. Like might be top two. I, yeah, I could argue to say top two. This one is absolutely amazing. I would say it's unisex, but I, I do see like it being truly like a unisex fragrance. It doesn't lean too feminine or masculine. I think both, both parties could wear it and it will wear very beautiful depending on your you know body chemistry so the top notes are juniper lemon bergamot pepper heart notes of pine needles incense orris root and then base note of vanilla sandalwood and amber and guys this is really really beautiful i think this is like an everyday scent this is this easily could be a signature scent even i could go that far um as to saying it i just think it's like very clean it has this wateriness to it yeah i love it and again the concentration also is x straight i forgot to mention that for the other one too this is great this is one of my favorites i would probably get a full size bottle of this because i absolutely love it and honestly i don't think i would get the og g water because i think this one's better and wears a little bit better i did have to overspray a little bit on clothes for it to project how i wanted it to but on skin it performed really really well which i think speaks volumes and i don't know if you guys can tell but look at that dent yeah and i don't even think i've had this for two weeks definitely not definitely getting a good wear out of this one so yeah that is bohemian rain so the next one that we have up is aphrodite's rose and this is comparable to atomic rose and guys this one is very very close if i had to put a percentage i would definitely say 98 percent close i've sampled that fragrance before i have decants of that fragrance i also bought infinity rose i believe which is also inspired by but i honestly prefer this one better you definitely can just tell the quality and the concentration is just much better i think it's just a smoother blend it's not as screechy as that other one but yes i highly highly suggest this one and i know a lot of people compare atomic rose to sharing like very similar DNA to Delina. It's just a little bit deeper and darker. So while people would wear Delina maybe in the day to keep it bright and airy, I think this one has a little bit more depth and interest that will really shine. Night settings or even in the cold would be a little bit better to wear. So yeah, I would highly, highly suggest this one. So the notes for Aphrodite's Rose is Bulgarian Rose, Pink Pepper, Heart Notes of Amberwood, Cedar, Base Notes of Vanilla, Red Rose, and Almond, which is interesting, yeah. So... That is very, very, like, I don't know how they did it, guys, but this is so close to Atomic Rose. It's kind of uncanny. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is one you don't want to overspray as well. A little goes a long way with this one, and it's beautiful. So if you like Atomic Rose, even Delina, I think you would absolutely love this DNA, and I highly suggest this one. Last but certainly not least is Annie Are You Okay? And I, found, I found this to be very funny. I love all of the names of the fragrances. I think they're very cute and a, gr a great play off of the Inspired By ones. But yeah, this one was funny to me. This is Inspired By Nishane's Ani, which you guys know, if you're not new to this channel, you know how much I absolutely love Ani by Nishane. It is so beautiful. It's one of my top vanillas that I would repurchase time and time again. I love that DNA. I think it's so unique. I think it's a great unisex, straight down the middle type of fragrance. It's great. It's just truly unisex every time i experience fragrance i feel like it leans either a little bit ma masculine or a little bit more feminine but this is truly right down in the middle so i love that and this one is pretty spot on i would say if i put a percentage to compare this one to ani i would say 99.9 percent .9%. that is how close it is i was shocked honestly guys i was a little bit regretful because i was like remembering what i paid for the original ani and while i did get a great discount it's still a hefty penny so i think if you love that fragrance if you've tried it or have experienced it you need to get your nose on this one 100 percent. i think this will be perfect in your collection you're gonna love it you're gonna use it yeah i would even say if you just want to sample Ani, this is a great way to do it because this is truly spot on and I love it. And this is definitely one I'm going to be repurchasing time and time again, especially since it's in the travel size. Like this 10 ml is really convenient for me. I just, I think I prefer it honestly to a full size bottle, but this is definitely full size bottle worth. So I probably would suggest doing like a bundle if you love this fragrance like I do. And so in the top notes, we have ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, green notes. In the heart, we have cardamom, black currant, Turkish rose in the base notes we have vanilla benzoin sandalwood cedar patchouli musk and amber reese oh my gosh i love all of those notes 
all of these notes are amazing. Other than green notes, green notes are hit or miss. Um, I don't really like green fragrances, but this one does not come off like grass or, or green in that way. It's just very fresh. Yeah, it's such a unique fragrance. You guys have to get your nose on this one. Absolutely love Annie, are you okay? And I would highly, highly recommend. All right guys, that is my top five picks from Juliana's Perfume. And not only were they so generous enough to sponsor this video, they are offering my viewers an amazing discount. So if you click the link in my description box, it will take you to a product page that shows my top five that I spoke about today. And you're able to save 40% off of a bundle. So if you want to do the three or do all five, you're able to save 40% off, which I thought was an amazing discount. And all orders are free shipping and have a 90 day return policy. So I thought that was super generous as well. Thank you, Juliana's Perfume. And I look forward to speaking to you guys in the comments. Let me know which one you're interested in trying. If you are going to try it, come back and comment and let me know how you found them. And if you already have experienced this house, then let me know what you're loving. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.